hello everyone my name is Sumit Kumar and welcome to my youtube channel so in this video we are going to learn how to connect s3 from ec2 machine so to do that i will follow this five steps first of all i will create the ec2 machine if you have already have ec2 machine you can skip this this and then i will connect ec2 machine using vs code i already have created video for these two steps and then i will try to access s3 from ec2 console means ec2 machine console but it will fail because it doesn't have the access to access the s3 okay so then we will create im service rule for ec2 and attach s3 full access calls for that and then we will try to access s3 and it will work for that so let's start so first of all we'll go to our this is my ec2 aws machine aws console and first of all, we'll go to EC2 service and we'll try to create EC2 machine. So we'll go to launch, launch EC2 machine, launch EC2 instance, launch instance. We'll give name as test EC2. Anything you can give based on the requirement, you can name it, based on the project, you can name it is fine so this is a uh, architecture 64 bit and uh, we are going to use t2 free free tier that is fine and we can create the new key pair i might have that uh, old key pair but it's not going so no problem i will create one new key pair i will name it uh, test ec2 only this key pair type rsa is fine and uh, I can you can use PM or PK anything is fine for because in the windows or uh, if you want to use open SSH SSH using then PM file is fine or if you want to use putty you can use PPK directly you can download the PPK file but this time we are going to use uh, SSH that's what we are going to use PM anyway if you are download PPK you can convert PPK to PM and PM to PPK as well so don't worry just download the PEM file and keep it at secure place because this one we cannot get it again okay so let's open traffic this is the security group I will open this SSH traffic anywhere fine and just for the this not required but uh, because I'm not going to use any HTTP and HTTPS so it's fine no problem and it will go it will going to create one security group once the security group will be created we will allow 22 port anyway it's ssh is uh, working for all the port so it will work but i will open ssh and i will show you i will open security group and will show you what is there for ssh we need to allow 22 port that's what I was saying so that's fine so we will launch this one it will take some time so we'll wait for that okay so you can see this is up and running fine so I'll open here we'll go to connect connect and as such client so we need this thing to this one this one is my user and this is my host name and we'll have already having this one okay this is the pm file so but i want to connect using this vs code so for that we need extension called uh, remote ssh so we'll search for remote ssh and install it this is all thing i have already done in my previous video it is already done in youtube but no problem i'm doing it again so you can observe it once it is installed here this is one you can see this green button green symbol or whatever you say green thing is appearing here so it is saying as open remote window so click here and connect to host click on connect to host and this is new configuration okay so new ssh so you can directly give ssh host name and uh, this 
okay ssh username or whatever it is there so you can come here you can see just copy this one and paste it. it it won't work because because we have to give this one this pm file on the path so leave it i'm just deleting this one because unknown host is staying okay no problem so we'll go here and we'll connect to host and we'll configure this ssh and we'll keep we'll open this ssh config file and in the config file we'll give the alias alias we'll keep as test test ssh test ec2 so this is not the host name this is just alias you can give whatever name so that it will appear here in the left side so you can just click there and log in and then we are having host name so so we can keep we can get the host name from here we are having host name correct with the host name and username will be what username will be ec2 user this is a default user so don't worry so along with that we have to to give pass the identity file so this is the identity file we have to pass so try to identify file and the file that we have downloaded that we have the path that path we have to give here so we can go to the download path download file here and you can see this is a test correct so we can open this one and property you can take this you can go to security and take the full file full path actually and come here and give it here so that's all so we can save it okay after once you will save it so you what host alias name you given test ec2 so now you go here and connect to host and you can see this test ec2 is already configured so click here so it will take some time and it will be connected if it is not connecting it means there will be some issue so give this what is this linux fine continue You can see this is having permission issue okay so if you see this error it's saying that user is this giving permission denied error so what was the problem here is i was by mistake i have given this username as you see in place of ec2 user we have given u extra so that was the problem we'll save it and then we'll try try again connect to host test linux so now you can see this is connected okay ssh connected to this one so now we will open the file open the folder so this is the folder okay you are connected to the user again it is asking okay when you are opening this file so it is asking this uh, connection again so just click on test testing this one so this is fine okay so this is the folder showing that is there in my ec2 machine so now we'll come to the terminal if you see this terminal looks like from ec2 so this is my ec2 terminal that i used i'm using into vs code so now if you give here ls nice ltr it's showing nothing is there now if we try aws cli it might be reinstalled so it is there so now if i will do aws s3 ls so it is giving me issue saying that you can configure credential so there is two way 
to do it one is using uh, im rule that i am going to show you now and one i already have shown you using access key and secret key so that is already video is already there for that so you can you can con configure your aws configure you can run aws configure and you can give the access key and secret key here you can give the access key secret key all those things you can give and then you can connect using free key and secret key so that access key secret key things you can if you have access key and secret key you can connect using you can connect to credit from anywhere so that is no problem so that already we have done it so i have shown you this three step so all three steps is done so now i will create one im service role policy 2 and attach s3 full access policy there so just see how i am doing so we'll go to i am int access management console we'll go here so this service role is role that we have to that is required to access one service from other service so what i'm what we are trying to do here is we are trying to access s3 that is one service from ec2 that is also one service so if you want to access some service from other service yeah. then you need role service role okay so what uh, what we are trying to do here is we are trying to access s3 service from ec2 so ec2 should have the role to access s3 then only it can access s3 correct so we'll go to role and we'll create one role which role it will service role for what service for ec2 service okay so this commonly used service ec2 and uh, lambda but there are many other service if you want you can select from here so i selected here ec2 the next then we'll attach s3 full access s3 full access We'll give, give name as S3. S3 full access. Fine. So meanwhile, I will open one more console, S3 console. So that role is created now what i will do i will go to ec2 management console and uh, with my this is my instance we'll go to instance and select this one and then we'll go to action in the in the action there will be security and the security there is option called modify im role click on modify im role and we have to assign role as s3 full access so you can see it is coming here we have to assign this one so update im role so now this ec2 machine have the role to access s3 okay so we have added role so it have the permission to access s3 so now we will go here and we will run the same command you can see we are having this and all now we can able to see what and all bucket is there even we can create the bucket as the also so let's suppose that i want to create the bucket so aws s3 mb for made bu make bucket then s3 colon slash slash what bucket should i give should i give ec2 ec2 test bucket 307 see bucket make, make bucket this bucket is created and we want to see this bucket created or not you can go here and just uh, refresh it 7 
the, you can see this bucket is got created so this is the way we can access s3 from ec2 machine so hope you have understand uh, everything um, thank you for watching